Hey everyone, and welcome back to Wobbly Life! This is the conclusion of our two-part video on unlocking the hoverboard. In part one, we were introduced to Steve, the archaeologist shown here, and he sent us on a quest to recover four ancient scrolls. Now, he's telling us we need one last item, a hat of some kind. So at the end of the episode, he had marked a secret cave on our map, and that is right up here on the jungle island near the giant wobbly statue at the back of the island, right over here. So now my son and I are on our way to go get the hat. Let me take a moment early on to say thanks for watching the video. It's really great to have you. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button to let us know, and we will continue bringing you more episodes of Wobbly Life. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. We're uh, getting close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, so that's, that's a big deal for us. And uh, let's get going. When you get to the location marked on the map, you'll find a covered pit entrance. Whoa! Ow! That is quite a drop! Ow! Ow! Ooh, we are rich. Look at all the spider webs. Oh, what's over here? Oh. Man, we can retire. Oh, no. Wait. This is Frogger! Yes, just like the classic video game from the 80s, you have to make your way across the river by jumping on these rafts and even on the backs of alligators. Now one thing you may notice is that there are two islands in the middle here. You want to make sure you go to the one on the right because there is a new present on it. So, yep, jump, jump, and we get our 90-second present. So, then you have to continue across the river. Hey, being a child of the 80s pays off. I can still play Frogger. So on the other side of the river is another ancient ruin. With all the gold we've found in this game, we should have a lot more money. Uh, uh, wait, wait, uh, I don't have a sword. That's not very fair. I don't care. Hey, Ow! Oh! So, after being run through by my son, I come into the next room, and there are two people here gathered around the table. What brings you down here, young Wobbly? You were sent here by Steve to find an ancient hat. Didn't we find something like that? <laughs> oh, stop messing around and take it off. Here you go. Here you go, take it with you. But be careful, the only way out is past that whirlpool up the path? Oh, that, that doesn't sound good. Alright, so he takes off the hat, and then you have to grab it, and, um, continue. Wait, there's a, there's another room here, and yes, there's a, there's a chest in it. So let's just go open that. And we get, oh, two more presents. So what is this, 93 and 94? Yes. All right. W would you please stop stabbing me? So we grab our present and we're gonna continue 
Wait a second, is that another room on the other side? It is, with another chest in it. Alright, so are there more? And there are two more presents. So that's uh, 95 and 96. Wow, so that's a, that's a good room. Four presents in the one room, plus the one on the way across the river. And my son is lying in a pile of money, doing his best uh, Mr. Krabs impression. All right, so you um, now you take the hat, and I guess we continue up the path to the uh, whirlpool of impending doom. All right, I can hear the wa oh oh this does not look good. So, um, we have to make it across this swirling vortex of death with the hat intact. And, um, how, how do we do that? Oh, okay, there's a raft. You can see it over there on the right. So you have to ride the raft to the other side of the room while holding on to the hat. All right. Oh, no, no, wait! Oh! Are you kidding me? I just bounced off you. Oh man, that was not. So wait, did I lose the hat? I did. Oh. Does it respawn down there? Um, I, I, I'm hoping it respawns. Yeah, he has the hat on again. So wait, do I just replay the whole... So you can just replay the cutscene and uh, get the hat again. Well, that is a relief. All right, so let me grab the hat. Let me try and grab the hat. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, so we have the hat, and we are going to head back up and try and get across this this pool um, while my son chases me with a sword, which is something every father wants to hear. All right, so the raft is here, and I'm going to jump on it first. And he comes to. And you you can't steer the raft. Um. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, this isn't this isn't actually difficult at all. You 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 literally just jump on it and ride it across. All right, so you make it to the other side, and there is an elevator. Oh, and there is another chest behind the elevator with present number 97, which is also the frog hat. So then you jump on the elevator, and you will take it up to the top to exit the, uh, the building. And I'm just going to double check that there are no other chests here. Uh, nope, no other chests. Okay. So we head down the path and there is another door which will lead us out. Not sure where. Um, onto the beach. All right. And there's a Jeep parked here. Well, that's nice. And we are down by, um, oh, okay, we're down on the beach near where the, uh, you can get the treasure maps. So we're going to drive back up here to Steve, and we're going to bring Steve the hat. Steve, we found it. Okay, wait, wait, have we... So we put the hat on the pedestal, and the door opens. Oh, a beam of light comes out of it. And we have unlocked the trial hat. Um, so do I take it from here, or do I have to go... Oh, oh, so I go back over to that uh, wardrobe that's in the... over here and put on the trial hat. 
Where is it? Oh, yep, there it is. There's the frog hat. There's the trial hat. All right, so the door behind Steve should be empty now. Are you going to wear the explorer hat? All right. All right, so uh, here we go. We have unlocked the ancient trials. So, um, hey, it's Steve again. What do we have here? Must be the first trial. A test of knowledge. So remember to use your head. And there is a chest back here. And this is present number 98. And also some of the ancient wobbly armor. All right, so in this room, there are four icons on the floor. And there are four columns. And the pictures on the columns represent different times of day. You have uh, noon right here. And you have, um, let's see, what is that? Uh, sun, sunrise, sunset. Um, yeah, one sunrise, one sunset. And the other one is night. So we're going to start over here. with sunrise and then we're going to go over to noon and then we're going to go to sunset and then we're going to go to night and that should unlock the door Um, okay, we did something wrong. Um, hmm. All right, um, let me go look at these. Sunrise, sun. Oh, 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 wait. I, um, <laughs> I, I reversed my sunrise and my sunset. So the sunrise is in front of you. And the sun is overhead, and then the sunset is over here behind you, in the west. So, my bad. Uh, so you line it up, you push the two button to shoot a beam out from your hat. It hits the pillar. There we go. Nighttime. The beams go from the pillars to the big one in the center, and that unlocks the door. And leads us into the next room for trial number two. Ooh, man. Need to get a cleaning crew in here. All right, so trial number two. Hey, it's Steve again. All right, let's see what it says. As, okay, wait. Trial two looks like a test of courage. As my assistant, maybe you should go first. Oh yeah, Steve. Oh, okay. And there's another, there's another chest back here with more of the armor and present number ninety nine. All right. So this test of courage involves getting across this gaping chasm, where there is no visible means across. But it is actually an invisible maze. The platforms are there, you just can't see them. But if you use the hat with these columns right here, ah, the path is revealed. And you can continue to do it while you're on the platform to unveil more of the path.
Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, wait, what am I doing? Okay. And once you get about halfway across, you can trigger the pillars, um, if my son gets out of my way, you can trigger the pillar on the other side, which reveals the other half of the map. Oh, let me come across and, uh, oh, no, 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 no! Uh. All right, let's try that again. So you make your way across, triggering the pillars as needed to reveal the map for you. And then getting halfway across, you can trigger on the other side. Oh, hey, I know I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, come down there. You know what? I, I just want to double check. I don't want to fall down again. Uh, uh, I can jump that. All right. And we have made it across. And I guess that is the end of trial number two. So apparently Steve has found his way across to join us. This room is filled with ancient magic. All right. The final trial, a test of agility and intellect. All right. So we got a bunch of fountains and ooh, a chest right over here, hidden behind this waterfall. Ah, and that gives us the ancient armor helmet and is also present number 100, the 10th of the 10 new added presents. All right. What you want to do is jump onto this platform and you want to trigger the pillar over there, which raises up the platform. Once it's raised up, you want to trigger the pillar on the next level. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, and, and you want to walk forward, not backwards, like I just did. So, trying it again, you jump onto the platform, you trigger it with the hat and that pillar. It goes up to the next level, where you trigger the next pillar on the right there. Oh, I missed. Uh, can I do it? There we go. And that will raise the next platform, which you jump across to. And the next pillar is behind you. You trigger that. And you jump to the next platform. And here on the left is the next pillar. And we jump down. And um, where is it? Up oh, there it is on the right again. This is the last one, and it will take you up, and you can just jump across, and you can exit the room. Trial number three is complete. And that leads us into the final room. And behind my son is the ancient hoverboard. And of course, on the left is Steve. What is that thing? It looks dangerous. All right, so we come up to the hoverboard and interact with it. Master the ancient board and lay claim to your reward. And it's a hoverboard race. We need to escape the trials. All right, here we go. Whee! Whoa, this, this is a lot more bouncy than I realized. Um, ah, all right. 
right. And oh, oh, there are there are columns that pop up. All right. Okay. Wow, this is a cool cave. I wonder if we can come back and explore it later. Or if it's only used during the race. Because this looks like a, a great place to hide stuff. Whoa, whoa, ah, ah. That is a sharp turn. Alright, alright. No, 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 oh, oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 okay, um, 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 yeah, okay, so the hoverboard does not hover over water, great, okay, so, um, do I respawn in the room with the hoverboard, please tell me I don't, okay, good, good, so I can just, Go over and try again. And this time, my son decided he wanted to make it an actual race. All right, hey, um, uh, hey, um, kind of pushing there. Uh, really, really, this is how you race? All right, all right, that's how it's gonna be, huh? No, no, wait, wait, no! Oh, wait, I'm off. I'm off the track. Wait, no, I'm back on the track. Okay. Uh. <laughs> well, I, I guess it's safe to say I have lost this race. Wait, was that an artifact? Was that the goblet again? I bet you it was the goblet. This goblet is the bane of my existence. All right, here's the curve. This is amazing looking. I wonder, I mean, look at this. You have to be able to come back and explore this at some point. I can't believe they did all this work and there's just, you don't get to enjoy it. Whoa, whoa. All right, whoa. That was uh, a little higher than expected. Oh, oh I thought I timed that right. Right. Uh, up. Okay, through here. Big jump. Ooh. All right. Ah, it's caving in on me. All right. All right. All right. All right. Woohoo! All right, through here. Up. Oh, is that the end? Yes, it is. All right. Second time's the charm. Ow. Okay, so we're... Wow, look at all this gold. You have proven worthy of the Wobbly Trials. Our technology shall be your reward. And I have unlocked the ancient hoverboard. All right. That was really fun. I, I really liked that. Okay, oh, that was intense. Those ancient wobblies sure were a clever bunch. Though I wonder what these trials were used for. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to stay here and continue to study the trials. There is another trial door nearby which has now been opened. I think it's another way down to the hoverboard race. I'll mark it on your map. Thank you for your help. Oh, and you've and you unlocked the achievement. All right. So um where is this this new path? Okay, so we come over here. Across from the building with Steve in it. Oh, and there's a new door. And that leads... 
Oh, that leads you back down here so you can do the hoverboard race without having to go through the trials again. So if you just want to do the race, you can do it that way, or you can go through the trials again. Okay, well that's kind of neat. Um, and then we could just quit out of it, right? Alright, and that is going to do it for this episode of Wobbly Life. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps our channel to grow. And we will be back soon with more Wobbly Life. Thanks for watching.